So basically this week we've done an update on Red Alert where we added two new entry criteria. So what we were seeing with some eight cap brokers on a tight stop loss and the slippage and execution issues that you should be aware of because it's relevant in every single chat of one of them prop firms right now. Everyone's moaning about it. We were getting slipped from time to time on them props. FTMO is working a treat and my Forex funds to be fair. So we were running tight stop losses and large-ish TPs. And I was like, okay, well, what if we didn't run the stop loss so tight, ran the stop loss wide and had to take profits tighter? We had a good webinar on Tuesday morning going through the update and sharing where we were at with it. So this week, I've only traded two news releases that were very minimal news releases. One was CAD GDP on USD CAD. And I'm net 2.5% up across just them. Today's news didn't work. I was in the gym and I realized that I had a set file for the update with take profit and pips on that didn't work on the EA that I downloaded in the terminal. So it didn't load properly. So yeah, in terms of the like trade history, this is where we're at. Ignore today's. This is where I closed the trades that opened, realizing that they weren't set up right. So USD CAD to take profit. One causes quite a lot of emotional stress, potentially. Can have great, huge rewards, but you've got big lot sizes, PLs going up and down. You've got to hold winners for a long period of time. This is like totally the opposite. It adds a different level of consistency, a much higher win rate, not necessarily the most profitable if you can compare the two, but still very profitable. We've got lots of sizes that cause zero emotional stress. Yes, we've got a little bit of open drawdown, but I could still close everything out for this week and be 2.5% up. I've only traded two news dates. Add that into other strategies or accept the fact that next week we've got Jolt's NFP, a couple of big ones. We could have it away in two weeks like Robin has because he's had results play out today and he's 6% up, I think, just on this week too.